What up, guys? It's Mr. Dan Tamari Mel, and you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Friday, June 28th, 2024, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash Report with Raymel, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at The Enter Report, or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for The Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Alien Avatar and Ghostbusters icon Savoy Weaver is receiving the Golden Lion for life achievement at the Venice Film Festival this summer. Weaver said in a statement Friday, I'm truly honored to receive the Golden Lion for lifetime achievement from La Bellina de la Venencia. To be gifted this award is a privilege I share with all the filmmakers and collaborators I have worked with throughout the years. I proudly accept this award in celebration of all who have helped bring these films to life. Weaver is a three-time Oscar nominee who is also known for her performances in Gorillas in the Mist, Galaxy Quest, Working Girl, Half Moon Street, and The Year of Living Dangerously. Um, festival director Alberta Barbera says an actress of the caliber of Signoni Weaver has few rivals. Threatened by her significant theatrical training, she won over the great film going public with Alien, directed by Ridley Scott, soon becoming an emblematic figure of the 1980s. During the course of that decade, she forged the image of the heroine unprecedented in the action film genre, able to victoriously rival the male models who, up to that point, had dominated epic and uh, and adventure movies. He concluded, not satisfied with having blazed the trail of powerful female actors, the actress ceaselessly continued her search for a personal identity. She constantly challenged her persona through choices that ranged from genre movies to comedies, art house films, and children's movies, sidestepping labels that sought to restrict her to the role of a triumphant icon of the Reagan era. The lineup of screenings for the 81st edition of the festival is expected to be announced on July 23rd. The event will run August 28th through September 7th. Tony Hale and Cheryl Lee Ralph will announce the nominations for the 2024 Emmy Awards. Hale, the actor known for playing Gary Walsh on Veep, and Ralph, an actress who portrays Barbara Howard on Abbott Elementary, will unveil the nominees at a ceremony July 17th. The pair will host the event at the Al Capitan Theater in Los Angeles. Television Academy Chair Chris Abrego will join Hale and Ralph at the ceremony, which airs live at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Emmys.com slash nominations. Abrego said in the press release, While this year has been marked by significant challenges for our industry and its workforces, there has been an abundance of remarkable programs, extraordinary performances, and impactful storytelling. Great television relies on the contributions of so many, and we're delighted to have Tony and Cheryl help us acknowledge excellence across our fields as we embark on a season of tremendous celebration. This year's Emmys will take place September 15th and air at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ABC. The Emmy Awards recognize artistic and technical merit in the television industry. Gina Oshuis, who played Glee's Tina Cohen Chang, announced on Friday that she's expecting her second child. She wrote on Instagram posts, We are pregnant and so excited and grateful. It has been a journey. I will share more, but in the meantime, enjoy this exciting time. Fans immediately showered uh, Ush Kowalts, uh, Kowalts um, with love and support. Within an hour, the post nearly got 450 comments and nearly 23,000 likes. One commenter said, so, so happy for you, Jenna, and your family. We Gleeks are so happy for you. Oshkowitz and her husband, David Stanley, had their daughter, Emma, in 2022. So far, this pregnancy was nothing like her first, Oshkowitz said in a statement. She said it was truly like a head-spinning experience of how different it was, and it's just such a good lesson that every pregnancy truly is different. You're not going through the same journey every time because every kid is different, and it's so it was definitely something that I didn't expect at all. 
The news itself surprised Ushkowitz, who found out she was pregnant again while on vacation. She said, my jaw dropped. I was shocked and an overjoy, of course. Newborn snuggles are the best, but I'm really just looking forward to seeing my daughter become a big sister and just feeling like our family is a whole. Other Instagram commenters expressed similar sentiments. One woman wrote, Emma's going to be the best big sis. Oshkowitz, uh, who also had roles in One Night in San Diego and The Right Girl, is also the host of the podcast, and that's what you really missed. A passing to report, Martin Mull, who played Colonel Mustard in Clue, Roseanne's boss, uh, Leon Karp in the ABC comedy series Roseanne, and starred on Norman Lear's Fernwood Tonight, died Thursday at his home. He was 80. The news was revealed by his daughter, Maggie Mole, an executive producer on Family Guy. Mole was 80. Lainey Wilson, known for her hit, Things a Man Ought to Know, and Luis Fonsi, known for his popular song, Despacito, will perform during Macy's 4th of July fireworks show. The star lineup also includes Shabuzi, Belbit DeVoe, Tanner Adele, and The War and Treaty. Lainey Wilson is set to return this year. Macy's official says, Think unforgettable stars, larger than life pyrotechnics, and a salute to the American spirit that's one of summer's greatest hits. Jason Holland, who wrote the music for Broadway's Little Women and has a Grammy and Emmy, produced the music that accompanies this year's fireworks display, which includes 60,000 shells exploding over the Hudson River. Viewers can expect modern takes on patriotic favorites performed by Alex Newell, Amber Mark, Brandy Clark, and co-host Mickey Gulpton. Official says, Zuri Hall of Axis Hollywood will return to co-host the show on NBC and Peacock. NBCU Entertainment Executive Vice President of Live Events and Special, Jen Neal, says, Year after year, this telecast never fails to inspire and awe, lighting up the New York skyline with the fireworks display that's unmatched. It's this type of live programming event that brings us together as a nation. New York City Mayor Eric Adams described the evening as, quote, one of the city's most exciting and iconic events. I look forward to joining the thousands of viewers celebrating America's birthday right here in the Big Apple, said in the press release announcing 10,000 free tickets for New Yorkers. The 48th annual show marks the first time in more than 10 years that the display will be taking over the Hudson River, New York, official says. Macy's 4th of July fireworks will air Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and again at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lil Nas X is released, Here We Go, his song for the film Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F. The 25-year-old singer and rapper shared the song Friday ahead of the movie's premiere July 3rd on Netflix. Netflix announced the collaboration earlier this month alongside a photo of Lil Nas X and Beverly Hills Cop star Eddie Murphy. Lil Nas X shared a promo photo for Here We Go this week that features his image on a police detective badge. He wrote, so excited to release the best song of all time this Friday. Also, sorry I've been scared with my art lately. I'm coming around to myself again. I will make you guys very proud. Lil Nas X most recently uh, released the single He Knows, a collaboration with Camila Cabello in May. His debut album, Montero, was released in September 2021. Beverly Hills Cop Axel F is the fourth installment in the Beverly Hills Cop franchise. The action comedy film stars Murphy, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Kevin Bacon, Taylor Page, Judd Reinhold, John Ashton, and Paul Reiser. Netflix released a teaser trailer for the film in December. Rapper Megan Thee Stallion released her third studio album, Megan, on Friday. She wrote on Instagram, Megan, the album is out now everywhere. The record includes the singles Cobra, Hiss, and Boa. The 29-year-old artist is set to open the BET Awards Ceremony Sunday. Taraji P. Henson is hosting the gala. Megan Thee Stallion will then continue her Hot Girl Summer Concert Tour, which began on May 14th and will end July 27th. Her latest album, Traumatized, uh, was released in August of 2022. Gracie Animals took to the stage on Today. The singer-songwriter performed Close to You and I Love You, I'm Sorry during Friday's episode of the NBC Morning Show. Close to You appears on Bay Abrams' second studio album, The Secret of Us. She first wrote the song seven years ago and revisited the track for her new album. I Love You, I'm Sorry appears on The Secret of Us. In the interview, Abrams discussed working with fellow singer Taylor Swift on the song Us. 
Uh, Abram said we had gone to dinner, we drank a lot, we were talking about our lives and our albums, and got really excited about all of these stories. She was like, we have to go home and listen to the songs. She added, we went home, we wrote us, based on kind of an off the conversations we had at dinner. Abrams had nothing but praise for Swift calling the pop star extraordinary. She said she's an extraordinary friend and mentor as she is an artist and writer. Abrams released Us alongside The Secret of Us last week. Camila Cabello on Friday released her fourth studio album, See, Love, which she likens to a coming-of-age story. She said in an interview, it felt like this exploration of girlhood into womanhood. And that journey yield tracks that are dramatically different from hits like Havana and Senorita. She said, I feel like the inauthentic thing to do would be to give the public what you know is going to work for you or what they're already expecting from you. That's the easy way to keep going. Or, you like Havana, I'll give you five more of those. But it's so much more risky and comes from a place of artistic integrity to be like, well, I'm actually going to depart from the thing that everybody knows and likes about me in order to try things and experiment and evolve as an artist. Um, the That artistic integrity led her to contact Drake for constructive criticism, which cultivated in a collaboration on the album. Lil Nas X makes an appearance in He Knows, the record's fourth song. Cabello said on, on Facebook, the artists of my dreams are on my album. In a separate post that she shared ahead of C. Love's release, Cabello described her latest project as, quote, a side of me I like living in. C. Love is pink and blue ski mask, never being without lip gloss, coming alive during blue hours, long nails and eyeliner shape enough to kill a man, crying with your makeup and texting pics of your friends, it's bikinis under t-shirts, it's sticky hair at dinners at the beach, it's tan lines, white lines with your girls. Eagles member Don Henley filed a lawsuit in New York on Friday seeking the return of his handwritten notes and song lyrics from the band's hit Hotel California album. A civil complaint filed in a Manhattan federal court comes after prosecutors in March abruptly dropped criminal charges midway through a trial against three collectible experts accusing of scheming to sell the documents. The Eagles co-founder has maintained the pages were stolen and had vowed to pursue a lawsuit when the criminals was dropped. Uh, when the criminal case was dropped against the rare book dealers Glenn Horowitz, former Rock and Roll Hall of Fame curator Craig Incardardi, and rock memorabilia seller Edward Kaczynski. Hotel California, released by the Eagles in 1977, is the third biggest selling album of all time in the U.S. Daniel uh, Petroselli, Henley's lawyer, said in an email statement Friday, these 100 pages of personal lyric sheets belong to Mr. Henley and his family, and he has never authorized defendants or any else to peddle them for profit. According to the lawsuit, the handwritten pages remain in the custody of Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's office, which declined to comment Friday on the litigation. And finally, here are the top 10 songs in the Billboard Hot 100 single charts for the week of June 29th. Number 10, Billy Eilish with The Birds of a Feather. Number 9, Teddy Swims with Lose Control. Number 8, Benson Boone with Beautiful Things. Number 7, Hosier with Too Sweet. Uh, number 6, Kendrick Lamar with Not Like Us. Number 5, Tommy Richmond with Million Dollar Baby. Number 4, Sabrina Carpenter with Expresso. Number 3, Shabuzi with The Bar Song Tipsy. Number 2, Post Malone featuring Morgan Wall with I Had Some Help. And the number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 Senior Charts for the week of June 29th, Sabrina Carpenter with Please, Please, Please. And that is your entertainment report for Friday, June 28th, 2024. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back on Monday to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R E Y M E L O. On Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Everyone have a great weekend. Good night, and God bless you all.